Hey, welcome back everybody. Josh here with Desert Gardens Homestead. So it's a uh, hot and humid day here in the Sonoran Desert, but we've had plenty of rain. We actually, all day yesterday, we had a light drizzle, and so I almost took a day off. I did a couple small things. Obviously, I had my uh, daily chores with feeding all the animals, uh, but it was kind of nice just to uh, kind of relax, and it was actually a scheduled water day as well, so it just worked out, killed two birds with one stone. Um, but uh, anyways, I'm out here, and I just wanted to show you what I've been working on here lately. Um, over the course of oh, about the last week or so, I've gone through and I've checked all my air layers that I did last April and pretty much all but the low quats were ready and so all my citrus were done. And so I did, uh, took off all my air layers, got them potted up. And now I'm thinking about doing a round two. I'm gonna sneak in a round two. Here we are in August. Uh, so it's, September's still a little hot here, uh, but it starts to cool down end of September and then October starts cooling down quite a bit. And so over the next, uh, you know, four months, you know, three months really, I've got to do another set of air layer, which should do fine on some of the citrus and other quick things. I want to do a couple roses as well and a couple other odds and ends. I want to do some of my uh, chafe fruit and, uh, but I just wanted to show you what I'm working on, a couple odds and ends, show you some of the, uh, uh, some of the air layers that I've pulled off into the greenhouse and what I'm currently working on. So hang tight. Whoa. Hey, one, one other quick thing I just want to show you on the uh, jujube, the uh, tree has put off a ton of new little trees. Uh, I wouldn't call them sucker trees because I'm going to pull them up and use them. Uh, but just take a look at these. Last count, I just did a rough count, and I had about 30, uh, 31 or 32 little jujubes. But I may actually have a little bit more now. Take a look at this. If you just take a look at the ground, you'll just see all the various jujube coming up all over the place and I don't know if this has to do with uh, you know fruit just falling on the ground me eating the fruit and the seeds taking hold or if the trees actually sending up all these sucker trees and so this is the year that I've really had mass trees but I'm gonna go ahead and pull them all up in the fall and I'll have a surplus of jujube went ahead and removed all my shade cages yesterday while it was raining just to give everything some water That'll just show you uh, the few citrus I've got coming up in this old hookah bed. And here we are at my plant nursery. And it is filling up nicely. I always try to fill up the nursery uh, to maximum capacity uh, towards the winter. Yeah, that's usually how it works out anyways with just all the propagation I've got going on. I'm always pulling something off and adding something in. But just take a look at all the abundance that I have in here. So let's go ahead and just take a look at those fresh air layers. So here's a good seven. Actually, I did uh, those apples I upplanted, but if you remember, I germinated those apples by seed. I have two out of, I think there were 13. I had two survive, and there they are. They're doing nicely. But all these citrus here, I went ahead and uh, potted up. Those are seven. And here are a couple jujube that I air layered successfully, also putting out some new growth for me. There's a few more citrus down here that I've got as well as all these and we got a few more right over here as well so just a tiny ton of plants in here but i have many more to come especially if i'm going to be doing a second round of the air layer and i just wanted to show you i got a couple really neat varieties of mulberry in the yard i have the king mulberry i showed on my mulberry video but i also after that video purchased a white Pakistan mulberry from Seamus O'Leary in Phoenix and so I went ahead and put that in the ground let's go ahead and take a look at that so here's the king mulberry and it's reaching heights of almost four feet tall now it was just a little whip when I put it into the ground I think I put it in May it's right after that mulberry video that I put out but it's just doing really well and I went ahead and just air layered one of the lower branches down there uh, just to give it a shot to see if I could propagate it out. That would be nice. And here is the white Pakistan mulberry. It is just a really weird structure of a tree. I just really don't know what to make of it yet. Uh, but what I want to do is just get it nicely established here, which it has been in the ground now for uh, several months since late spring. And so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to go ahead and air layer some of these lower branches and try to prune up the lower branches. And then down the road, I may just go ahead and prune it somewhere uh, right up here and just uh, allow a nice open center to form from that. 
But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can propagate this guy out. Wasn't a cheap tree by any means. I paid $75 for it, which really for the variety uh, is very understandable. And so I paid it willingly. But if I can propagate, say one to two, and maybe even if I get lucky, three of these out, it'll more than pay for itself, which is the name of the game around here. And so this is the white Pakistan mulberry. And I'll let you know how this one does in the yard. But let's go ahead and just take a look at what I'm doing. So as you can see, I've already air layered one branch. And so the next branch up I also want to do. And so what I'm looking for here are some nodes. And so I'll bring you in a little bit closer here, but I do have two really good nodes. I've got one here and one down here. And here we are a little bit closer. And as you can see, I've got one node or bud right there by my finger. And then as you can see, there's another one right here protruding as well. And so I want my cut somewhere in between these two nodes. I don't want that large of a cut. It's almost two inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right below this bud here and I'll probably do about a half inch. And then I'll go ahead and, and paint that with the hormone. And there's my exposed bark layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape the cambium. I'm gonna put some rooting hormone on it with a paintbrush. And then I'm gonna put some of these, one of these baggies on there uh, with some peat moss, with some tin foil. And I'll check that probably early December and uh, have hopefully a couple new mulberries as well as a whole bunch of new citrus. So that is what I'm currently working on here in the landscape. I'm trying to do about, oh, 10 air layers a day, just trying to work those into my normal routine. And so hopefully I'll be able to pull quite a few of those off. Put a few more on the orange tree yesterday, actually the day before yesterday. And hopefully before I get rained out, maybe I can get a few more of these air layers done here and call it a day. But I'm going to try to get, oh, maybe three on this little white Pakistan here. I might do one more on a king, but then I'll try to focus the majority of the rest on various citrus in the yard and hopefully have a nice harvest early December. So I certainly appreciate you checking out this video today. And if you found anything of value or anything entertaining or of interest, I would surely appreciate you smashing that like button as well as subscribing to the channel if you're not already and sharing this video to anybody that you would think would enjoy the content as well. And this is Josh with Desert Gardens Homestead signing off and I hope you have an amazing day and God bless. Take care.